Juvenile polyp is a homartomatous polyp, which can be sporadic or it could be associated with juvenile polyposis syndrome. It is typically localized in the distal colon, however, it can be also found in dif uh, different locations, especially if uh, these uh, polyps are associated with polyposis syndrome. Microscopically, these polyps resemble tubular adenomas or, hi or hyperplastic polyps, but they have a very prominent expansion of the lamina propria, which is slightly edematous and it is associated with inflammation. We also commonly see cystic dilation of these crypts, and those are the most important morphological features of juvenile polyp. So on the higher magnification, we can see that the lamina propria is quite edematous and um, it is infiltrated by plasma cells, uh, lymphocytes, some eosinophils, and here we have part of the irregular cystically dilated crypt. The inflammatory infiltration can be also quite prominent, as in this area, for example. The epithelial component is typically associated with reactive changes, however, mild dysplastic changes can be seen as well. Juvenile polyps usually measure around one centimeter in diameter, and they are typically pedunculated. Juvenile polyposis syndrome patients uh, can have a large amount of these polyps all over the gastrointestinal tract. Thank you for watching.